here we have a production model. Let's take a look at the cage. Um, this, this model has not had any UVs assigned to it. Um, we can take a look at the intrinsic UVs that are associated with this cage. I'm going to go back to the wireframe. Our paint system has the ability to subdivide to better approximate the limit surface. So if we go back to the lit texture mode, I'm just going to zoom in here just to illustrate the, how high resolution the PTEX file is. So if I bring up our auto size feature and going into the texel view mode, so I'm just going to zoom in on the model really close, and you can see these are the actual individual texels. But to better uh, illustrate the relationship of this texel data on each face compared to each other face, I'm going to resize or down res uh, this texel data so that we can see the actual texels bigger. So here I'm zooming in on this large quad, and as you can see, it's got a lot more texel data on it um, than if I scroll over and look at one of the smaller faces that are on the nose. Um, and as we pan over, you can see that the relationship of all the faces maintains a nice parameterization across the entire cage. And this is all done automatically. So I'm going to undo that. And then I'm going to go back into the lit texture mode. So uh, as I'm working, let's say that uh, it becomes apparent that I need to paint a higher res area, say, on this eyeball. So if I do a test stroke, paint and project, I can see that the underlying uh, PTEX file doesn't have enough resolution to support the type of painting that I'm intending to do. I'm going to delete that, select these individual faces, go into the Texel view mode, and just simply up-res that area to get the desired resolution. Okay, once I have that, I'm going to go back into the lit texture mode, get my brush, and now when I paint and project, the PTEX file maintains the quality of the paint that is desired. I'm going to undo that, delete it. I can select a subset of faces, and I have the ability to flatten them and paint on the flattened model. So I'm going to get my brush and get a better color than black. And now, when I paint on this eyebrow ridge, and project, and on flatten, you can say that the, see that the paint is sticking to the appropriate area of the model that had been flattened. And it's, it's a nice workflow because you can select arbitrary uh, groups of associated faces to flatten. Not always, though, do you want to paint everything. Oftentimes, you want to bake procedural data as a sort of underpainting and paint on top of that. Um, to achieve that in our paint system with PTEX, I'm going to bring up our expression editor. Um, our expression editor is a dynamic procedural uh, texturing system that lets us interactively scale and adjust procedural um, data sets. Once I've got it adjusted to where I want, I can say apply. And once that's done baking under the model, I can grab my paintbrush and paint right on top of that. And the really, you know, the really nice thing about that is that you kind of get the you get the best of uh, procedural baked data with um, a really nice ability to hand edit all your procedural data. Once I have created uh, my PTEX file and painted it and edited it the way I desire, I can simply save it out and I'm ready to render.